Nothing too good can come out from people always agreeing with you. Omar Sharif When we were younger, we had certain requirements, the most important of which was to be protected and cared for. Unfortunately, many of us were raised in an unsafe, unstable or abusive environment, which caused us to go through a great deal of stress and anguish as children. To make the world around us more secure, we became better at pleasing the individuals who were immediately around us, such as our parents and our siblings. Therefore, pleasing other people may be understood as a reaction to trauma, an adaptive coping strategy that serves a hugely essential purpose. And that purpose is to assist us in dealing with circumstances that determine our well-being or even our very existence. The issue, however, is that even though many of us are adults now, we still subconsciously partake in this pattern of conduct, even though there is no practical need for us to do so. It has become second nature for us to try to please other people, and whether we are aware of it, this is having a detrimental impact on our life. Welcome to Relentless Man. In this video, we are going to help you identify if you are and how to stop being a people pleaser. Hit the subscribe button, the like button and the notification bell. Please share our channel and look out for our up and coming videos. Want to know if you are a people pleaser? It's not rocket science finding out if you are. You can feel it every time you do it. Although the initial rush of pleasing someone feels good, the end result is always the same. You erode who you are, your boundaries are not respected, and neither are you. What do people pleasers do? Saying yes when they want to say no, apologizing for things they are not responsible for, suppressing anger, sadness, or other negative emotions, do not express their genuine thoughts, being constantly concerned about what others think of them, trying to help others even if they do not ask for help, Feeling hurt when someone criticizes something they said or did. Being afraid of making a fool of themselves. Flattering others, even those they dislike. Avoid disagreement and conflict. Wanting to appear perfect. Being hyper-vigilant of other people. Doing favors for others, although they do not want to. Not distancing themselves from certain people, even if they are abused by them. Feeling unworthy of love and respect believing that others know better than them, letting others tell them how they ought to live, showing compassion to others but not themselves. Do you find yourself doing some or all of these things? If you do and feel that you want to change your interactions with those around you for the healthier, honest and equal footing relationship, Relentless Man is here to help you take back your power. It is all about dopamine. Everyone has the desire to be well liked. Everyone has the desire to be loved and accepted. It is okay for you to have these feelings. It is only natural to have these emotions. It has something to do with the way in which the neurocircuitry in your brain is laid out. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a significant role in the process of motivation. It is what many call the go get it chemical. Dopamine is released into your bloodstream by your brain whenever you engage in behavior that can contribute to your continued survival. Some examples of these are food, sex, spending money, or in extreme cases, drugs. Each of these examples is responsible for the addiction of millions of people all over the globe. They are not dependent on food, the sexual activity, the drugs, or the spending of their hard-earned money on things that they do not need. They are dependent on the dopamine that it provides them. Dopamine is released into your system when someone compliments your work or when you successfully satisfy the needs of your significant other, family, or friends. It is amazing to get validation. It is a sign that you are succeeding in some aspect of your life. Even though external validation can provide us with useful feedback, those who provide it are likewise susceptible to abusing its power. As a man in the modern world, you must be wary of three distinct sorts of toxic social validation. None of them are inherently harmful. However, it is not usual for all of these to reach the point where you lose your self-respect. All of these may combine to produce the mental equivalent of a perfect storm, but they are also distinct in character. 
Social Media Validation We are living in a fascinating era. Social media's attention-grabbing, consciousness-shaping, and thought-distracting technology has never been witnessed on such a massive scale. Due to this tendency, social media has a propensity to be addictive and may transform you into someone who desires, rather than needs, the approval of individuals with whom you are not even close. You may post whatever you want to get likes, social validation, and other signals of people's approval, while accomplishing nothing. The use of social media does not promote approval-seeking behavior. Okay, the next one certainly will. Approval from women. Numerous men nowadays are completely dependent on female attention. Many males use social media to get into the favor of women. Why? When we were young, many of us men were conditioned to seek feminine approval. We needed to be good boys for our mother. We were required to remain still while our female teacher gave us instructions. We had to impress our school crushes who were leagues ahead of us, supposedly. We have spent our whole lives seeking and pursuing the good boy stamp of approval from women. We have never thought about what we want in our lives. Then, what happens when we become adults and enter the world? We are brutally beaten by women who do not respect us because we lack self-respect. We attempt to fill an inner hole with the approval of women, and guess what? It does not work. Men will empty their bank accounts, purchase ridiculous clothing, snub their friends, or do anything detrimental to themselves to get the approval and attention of a beautiful woman. You may believe you are making progress, but you are mistaken. Take it too far and you become a version of the term nice guy or simp. The third and last source of external validation is friends and family. If you are like most people, you want to make your parents proud and to impress your friends. Naturally, your parents and close relatives want the best for you, but they typically will not guide you towards unconventional paths. Similarly, they invest time, effort, and resources into your upbringing, so they are eager to show off the results. Your parents may desire another doctor, lawyer, or engineer in the family, so they can boast about you to their friends. Seeking external affirmation from close friends and relatives is, once again, a failure. The negative effects of people-pleasing on your mental health, stress, anxiety, exhaustion, and illness. To keep others content, people-pleasers deny themselves emotionally to a significant degree. They may want to cry out from despair or shout out of rage, but they wear a phony facade to avoid confrontation. They may like to sit quietly and unwind, but instead they do tasks assigned by others. They may want to say no and leave an abusive relationship, but instead they opt to obey and remain with the abuser. Because of continual emotional repression, people-pleasers face chronic stress, which may lead to mental and physical illness, such as fatigue. In addition, since people-pleasers are preoccupied on controlling people and situations, they often suffer anxiety and disappointment when their own desires are not met. Resentment and Regret when we disregard our sentiments and emotions to appease others, we are, in a way, betraying ourselves. Furthermore, when we continually attempt to satisfy people, we often discover that they take us for granted, which may leave us feeling underappreciated. As a result, we may experience resentment and eventually regret for not having lived according to our own terms. Dysfunctional Relationships Although people-pleasers want to strengthen their relationships, they unwittingly damage them. This is due to several factors, including their dishonest behavior. People-pleasers are in some way liars, because they are someone they are not. Obviously, they lie not out of malice, but to protect themselves. They are like chameleons, altering their appearance to adapt to their surroundings. Hence, no one ever learns their actual personality, at least at the beginning of a relationship. This often leads to communication issues, and if the truth is out, it may end in severe interpersonal conflict. Due to their lack of assertiveness and poor interpersonal boundaries, people-pleasers often attract narcissists and bullies. 
However, because of the manipulative techniques of the latter, they may continue to feel accepted, loved and desired, which is often what keeps people in unhealthy relationships. Lack of happiness, freedom, meaning and purpose. People pleasers are mentally imprisoned, preventing them from expressing their authenticity. They have a tough time letting go, enjoying themselves, pursuing their aspirations and just expressing their thoughts and hearts because they are always preoccupied about what other people think of them. Consequently, they lack pleasure, freedom, meaning and purpose in their life. Due to this, they tend to have a sensation of inner emptiness which they often attempt to fill by pleasing others rather than tending to their own needs. How do we change this? Stop codependency and acknowledge you have a problem. At its foundation, addiction to validation is a spectrum of codependency. Codependency is characterized by a dysfunctional, one-sided relationship in which one partner meets the other's emotional and self-esteem needs. At its worst, validation addiction is characterized by the need for little doses of dopamine to perk you up. At its worst, it becomes stalker-like, an obsessive behavior, which is a problem for many men on social media. Because the term addiction has such bad connotations, most individuals do not want to confess to being addicted to anything. However, this is the first step towards recognizing the need to take a step back. Do you have emotional ties with women who have no positive impact on your life? It is time to stop. You must disconnect these ties and cut the cords. If you sometimes communicate with an ex, cut her off. If you constantly stalk a girl on Facebook, you should unfriend her. You may block her if necessary. You are putting your energy into a black hole. Withdraw. Refraining from specific activities and individuals is an essential step in overcoming an addiction to validation. This may include deactivating some social media accounts or even avoid specific individuals. As expected, withdrawal may lead to withdrawal. You will want that drug once again. You will want to return. This is when you remain firm and refuse to yield. This indicates that your brain is evolving. This is how self-discipline is established. Determine the non-negotiables. You must have set a life-guiding principle from which you never depart. What exactly are they? Are you an honest individual? A person with self-control who carries out what you say? If you do not know what these principles are or what they stand for, you will be easier to manipulate by those seeking people-pleasers. Set goals. If you do not know your destination, any road will lead you there. Anybody can easily take you down any road and you will happily go along. Goals accompany non-negotiables since they represent a destination. With a well-defined destination and strategy to get there, there is no need to appease others or do actions that are inconsistent with these objectives. The opinion of the world will be irrelevant. Recognize one's self. This is the most arduous task, but the most important at the same time. You must answer the question, who am I? Really, truly, consider when you were a youngster. Who was he before he was hindered by the views of the world and self-limiting beliefs? Take 10 to 15 minutes to contemplate this in a quiet area. Without this understanding, you would just end up imitating or being a slave to others. Understanding that affirmation has a dark side is the first step towards being an independent man rather than a yes man. You must consider that pursuing an unreasonable degree of validation is a dead end path that wastes time, life and potential. You are a relentless man. Do not waste it. Thank you for watching Relentless Man. Hit the subscribe button, the like button and the notification bell. Please share our channel and look out for our up and coming videos. Until next time.